Welcome back to another Absolutely News with the Hockey Coach Guru Coach Frenchy for the Hockey Nation Live Show. Today, episode number 39, we talk about Caden Cooley, Alex Debrincat, Josh Anderson, and much more. Don't go nowhere. You know the drill, please click on the like, subscribe to the show, sharing this video, and below this video, please leave me your comments about the episode number 39. And today we're going to talk about Caden Cooley, the MVP, the player of the of the WHL that got the MVP during the playoff. We have an update about Josh Anderson. We talked about him yesterday. The trade bait, Alex De Brencap for the Ox, the prospect today. NHL 2022 is going to be Owen Beck from Mississauga. Finally, an update on about the, the Laval Rockets and the NHL playoff 2022. Let's talk, in, guys, about uh, Kenan Cooley, MVP. We know he was a 16th overall pick by the Montreal Canadiens in 2020. And 19 games during the playoff, guys. 8 goals, 8 assists, 16 points. He scored again yesterday to give that W. For the Edmonton or King, they're going to play on the Memorial Cup. Just a great, great, great hockey player. First of all, one you always remember him is leadership. He was the captain before he got traded to Edmonton. And the way is so mature. He was a captain also for Team Canada a year ago. And uh, that's what really is Caden Cooley. He's not only... It's something we discovered during the playoff is on the offensive side. We never thought he was going to be that kind of player. He's really active on the offensive side. He anticipates a lot of play, and he have a good shot. And again, to prove it, he have eight goals in 19 games. He's great on defensive zone coverage, and it reminds me a lot of Devin Taze. Wait a minute, coach. Yeah, I understand you're going to panic. In, so come on, coach. I'm telling you right now, I really believe he can become a second best defenseman for the Montreal Canadian in the future. And to show this is what he did the last couple of years in the WHL, here's a video about Caden Cooley. Let's talk about Caden Cooley, MVP. Here, a great example, what is Caden Cooley? Number eight on the ice right now. Check his movement transfer. He's looking right now for the pass right there. He see already great vision, great pass, tape to tape. Now you're going to see another. You anticipate, pass the puck on the right side, drive to the net for the rebound in case, turn around, come back at the blue line. And now he's set up right now for another great shot. If you see the lane in front of him, you find a way to pass the puck and reset. Great anticipation of uh, Cooley. Let's move on now on his activation during his uh, defenseman. Now he's coming in front of the net. Look, he scored a goal. Right now he's at the blue line. Great back, uh, backwards over there. Try to get a pass on the left side and spade to come back and change the direction. Now here he's coming back. Recovery the puck. Controlling the puck. Puck protection. Pass the puck. And spade to pass back to him. Obviously a teammate does not great play right there. But again, you can see how he's really good. Now on the defensive side, man to man, one to one. Look, he's cross, uh, cross over. Shoulder check. He see the play right there. D reverse. Great and special right there by him. Now he's coming to see... On the front, right there, just a big body check all the way there. Another one there. He's now poke the puck, and then he's going to play for the next one over there. Look, another big hip check over there. Great play by Cooley. Now, he's going to be in front of the net. Look how he controlled the puck. Uh, the stick of the opponent players. The stick is under the, the, his opponent uh, players, and then he pick up the stick at the end. This is Caden Cooley. Listen, guys, again, it's all about the development, right? But I think you already see how he play. He, he cannot make, <laughs> he cannot miss the NHL. He's going to be a great future player for the Montreal Canadian left defenseman. Please do not trade Caden Cooley. We know they did before in the past with Coach uh, Sokachev. But keep Caden Cooley because I really believe he's going to be an amazing, great player with Justin Barron. For sure in NHL. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. Yesterday, guys, I talked about the trade bait, Josh Anderson. Uh, and I mentioned about what Montreal should do and everything like that. What well, we heard uh, yesterday also and um, on the social media, two teams are really looking for, for him. First, the Islanders. The kid they will maybe looking to trade for Josh Anderson. They are maybe open to give 
the first overall pick, the 13, and NHL, they have this season in 2022. They talk about possible to trade for Anthony Bouvillier. And finally, the Oilers are possible looking for Josh Anderson. Possible to talk about JC uh, Pilger JV in, inside that trade too. All remember, guys, you know, when we hit the final standing cup, the trade bait increasing everywhere. Do you believe the Montreal should trade Josh Anderson? This is my question to you. If you said yes, what do you feel about that trade with Allenders? Which one you would like to get? A 13 overall pick or the Anthony Bouvillier? If you made with Oilers, Bouvillier JV, is it a player you're looking for? Let me your comments about Josh Anderson. But the trade bait of the day, guy, is Alex de Brincat. We heard yesterday or day before the Chicago Blackhawks are really going to be on the mode rebuild, not retools, rebuild. So when you rebuild, guys, you let go your players and you want to restart from fresh. And that start with Brendan Agel. A couple of months ago, at the traded line for the Tampa Bay, got they got a great first round pick and also two great players with that trade. Now they are thinking to trade guys. They bring Cat. Kane and Taze. Is it happening? I don't know. But the, really the high conversation about the Brent right now is all over the league at that moment. Uh, the kid can score 24 years old and he's going to be an, you know, an amazing great hockey player. He's called already a couple of years, a couple of seasons with 40 goals per year. We know Kane were accomplished and Taze also. If they trade three of them, I believe the potential they can get is about 10 to 12 players in return. That's make a players. It's not like an exit player, but it could be six pick and it could be six player. A mix of this. And that would be them to restart from the bottom, go all the way up after that. We know something did it. They did also Chicago. Before the draft came, it takes. There was a team at the bottom of the league. And I think that's what they're looking for possible for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, the king... The Islanders and the Devil are really, really interested about the brain cat. That's something we have to follow up. I wouldn't be surprised at some point the Chicago Blackhawks trade the brain cat and taste. I'm not, still not sure about Kane, but that would be interesting. We know Kane and Taze have one more year at $10.5 million per year, and that's their final contract year, and then they become UFA. So it's something we have to follow up. Now, the player of the NHL draft prospect, guys, I'm going to disappear, is today Owen Beck. I tried to bring, guys, the player maybe Montreal could try uh, to get a pick at some point. And they have a draft pick at 33 at uh, the beginning of the second round. So possible Beck could be a player they were looking for. He's a center. Honestly, play with Mississauga this year. He's a six-foot shoot on the right. He's 190 pounds. Uh, He's a great hockey player, two-way player, guys. He's really intelligent, and he have a good skate around very well. He carry on the puck very good, by the way. This year, he have 68 game. He have uh, 21 goal, 30 assists, 51 points. His ranking, guy, is really not bad at all for me. It's 72 skating, 73 shooting, 71 a uh, second lane. Haiku, 75, that's really where he's great. He need to be a little bit fiscal and defensive to get better. 70 and 71. The projection of the expert is between 32 to 42. One or two put him a little bit over at 42. I predict him about 36 to 40. This one is a one mistake here. He's only not 6'4". He's 6 uh, foot, like I mentioned to you guys. He shot on the right. 68 game at 51.21 goal. Like playing in the OHL. His strength guy is a two-way player. His hockey sense IQ is unbelievable. Is with his vision under construction guy is the fiscality and of course his creativity on offensive side. That's when you need to get better and skill to do to develop. Develop your your skating and your hands uh, for sure. Secondly, is another way he need to get better. Uh, from the Atlantic, this is what they think about him. And again, you can read those kind of information. I'm not going to go through this, guys. Uh, but expect Owen Beck to be, for me, drafted before uh, the 40 pick. I would not be surprised. Uh, finally, for conclude this episode, uh, the Laval Rocket came back yesterday, guys. Uh, first to elimination, game six. They won, and the Springfield, th again, Thunderbird, part a score of 5-1. Unbelievable performance of Keenan Primo. They tied the series 3-3, three three, and now we have game number seven, Wednesday night. Uh, It's going to be in Springfield. 
We'll see if the Rocket can come back and uh, win that series. But again, a great performance yesterday, guys, for the Laval Rocket. Uh, here we go, guys. That way, we finish the episode number 39. Uh, hopefully, you enjoy it. But before we leave, we want to remind you, please don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to the show. Please share this video. And below this video, answer me, give me some comments uh, about the episode number 39. But before we leave again, we want to remind you, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, blessing day, everybody.